Okay, so now we're going to go to Pro Associate new campaign. But before we do that, I want to talk about the cron jobs. You know, if you don't know how to configure cron jobs, just click on this, and it's going to bring up what you need to put for your cron job. So this is the uh, cron command right here. You just set that up, and you're going to set it up to run every two minutes. That's going to keep all your products updated. And I would recommend watching this uh, video right here if you don't know how to set it up. So back we're going to go to new campaign. Okay, so now first thing we have to do is go to our optional settings. Now, do we want to post all our products now? Do we want to post randomized dates? So what I want to do is post ran random products on random dates starting now. Now you could use words like plain English like now, plus three months. But I like to use now and I like to use a specific date. So what I'm going to do is, since we're going to use 10 products, or probably, I'm going to put 26 uh, between now and say uh, July 4th which is like almost 10 days now categories we can assign products to select categories or auto create categories from Amazon browse node I would highly recommend not doing this because Amazon browse node categories are basically a mess so let's let's create our own categories simple so what we're gonna do is you can do it right here every time you do a new campaign you could add a new category you could just pick it right here so we're gonna do a new category let's see what are we gonna do let's do something fun like a uh, Corvette So we're going to do something about Corvettes. So we're going to have no, we have no cat, no parent category. So we're just going to add a new category right here. So that's going to be our main category. Remember, uncheck this box every time. <coughs> now, back on the advanced options. If we were doing, if we want to use the shopping cart, which will set the 30 day cookie, we will use simple variable. If we want to just send them straight to Amazon's site, we're going to use this external affiliate. I prefer to do that because getting people to add stuff to the cart and then hoping that they, they click uh, buy it and then they have to go to Amazon and click another box. I'd rather them just go to Amazon, set the cookie, and let them buy something. So I like to set it as external affiliate. Now we have this discussion. Do we want to allow comments? I don't. Do you want to allow trackbacks? No. This is your author. If you have multiple authors, you'll be able to pick it here. Do we want to post free products? Or do we want to post child products? I say no to those. Down the bottom here, we have campaign-friendly name. That'll, that'll fill itself once we do a search. So now category. Let's choose uh, automotive. We're going to do the sort by default, but we can pick any of these just like on Amazon's site. Our keyword is going to be Corvette. And we want to pick available products only. Now if we do advanced search here, we can set a minimum price and a maximum price. We could ignore offers from third party sellers. Or we could ignore all that and just put in ASINs right here. ASINs are the, uh, the numbers next to each Amazon product that uniquely identifies it. So what we're going to do is we're going to ignore third-party sellers. We're going to not set any minimum for this demonstration. Available product only. And then uh, 
that's about all we have to do and then off to the side right here is find products and we're going to click find products and then down here you can see we have products 10 products that uh, it picked for us so we're, we know we're already going to set these for the uh, Corvette category so we're going to if we don't check any all of them will be posted if we check one then only one will be posted or, and we have to check each one that we want to post so I want to just check stuff that says Corvette so we're going to do a, a hat scoop whatever that is Seat protector, seat protector. We're going to do that. Another seat, center console cover. Another hat, another hat. Now remember, if you're doing the uh, the pro version, it's going to come up with a hundred results at least, and then it's going to have ten pages here that you could go through, check off what you want, and then create pros products so now that we check nine results we're going to click create post products and it's posting right now so we can show logs it takes a minute I don't recommend uh, choosing all 100 products like if you're using the pro version. It takes a little bit long, so I would recommend doing a little bit at a time. So it looks like we got a bunch of products here. Okay, so now let's go look at our products. Here's our products here on WooCommerce products. Click that. Now you can see that we have. Or, or products post it seven of them out of nine some sometimes they don't post because of the selections we checked like uh, ignore third-party products or uh, post only available products and you can see that our prices are already filled in all these are scheduled let's see what we got here what kind of random we got we got a 629 a 629 a 629 July 1st, July 2nd, July 2nd, and July 3rd. So that's pretty random. The times are going to be all random. If you go into uh, Quick Edit, you can see the time here. It's going to be 047. You go back. Oops. We don't want to do that again. So we're going to do see what a different one looks like. 2255 cancel click edit you see this is 541 so everything's going to be a random time and a random date anyway and and uh, with your cron jobs this diesel start posting you know at the proper time well the diesel post with the uh, wordpress cron the uh, the cron job that's mentioned here is to keep your product data up to date which com makes you comply with the uh, toss from Amazon. So that's it. That's how easy it is to set up a pro associate. And then once your campaigns are done, you can see we, we have a campaign here. We could edit it and we could go post more products again. Or we could uh, set up a new campaign. So let's try it again. Now let's see if we... Uh, Default, let's do price high to low. Now let's uh, click find products again. Whoa. So there you go. We have all these high priced supercharger kits. And uh, yeah, you can make some good uh, commissions off of these. I imagine you would get like a $400 commission off of a, a purchase like this. So keep that in mind, although, you know, that'll be a harder sell, but it's not impossible. So anyway, let me end the video here. I showed you what you need to do 
to set up your Pro Associate. I'm going to leave a link to the Pro Associate for in my uh, description for you guys. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to set up your site as easy as I did. And uh, uh, let's go see what the site looks like. I only got the uh, the one theme set up. So let's go to our products. In fact, let's go to back to a Pro Associate. Let's go to our manage campaigns. What I'm going to do is set up, do this one again, and I'm going to make those products all posts right now. I don't know how it's going to look on the 2016 theme, but we're going to find out. So let's go. Price high to low. Corvette. Find products. See, because I didn't hit it last time, it didn't, uh, because I didn't post it, didn't save it. Once you post, it saves it. So, let's just post three products, or let's post six products. We got six there? No, let's uncheck them. Sometimes it does that. So, let's post the supercharger, metal brock. Let's post this suspension. Let's post this sound stream. Let's post this sus suspension. And let's post two more superchargers. And this time all I'm going to do is go to my optional settings. I'm going to just post everything now. So it's going to post six now. I'm not going to post child products. I like to stay away from that. You can see it saved it near external. You can post it as a draft, but I found that to be a pain in the ass when you post uh, ten or more items and you have to go turn them into not being drafts, it's a pain in the ass. So I'd rather post either now or in random dates in the future. You could even do random dates in the past too and that will post. But let's just post these now. Six products. So we can go look at our site. Posting new products. Okay, let's show our logs. It says that we posted six, but really we only posted five. Okay, so let's go look at our site now. And there we go. That's what your site will look like. This is just the, the basic uh, 2016 theme. And you can see it's already set up. We got sales going on here, even though they're not that great, but they're still a sale. So now if we click on our product, you can see we got it all set up. We got a description here. We got related products already set up. Our, uh, our statement is still here in the sidebar. We could set up other things in the sidebar like categories. But anyway, that's this is the basics. If we click buy product, it should send us straight to Amazon site. And it did. And we can see there's only nine left in stock. And that's it. So, here we go. We can see if there's any reviews. No reviews yet. We could add a review. But obviously there was no reviews on this product because it's so expensive and nobody's bought it yet. But anyway, it's there if you want to buy it and we can see other features of this. If we click on the picture here, it should bring it up. Let's see. Click it, goes back. See we got a zoom feature. See our categories Corvette. If we click that, it'll take us to our category with all our Corvette parts. And that's it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to end this video because it kind of went longer than I thought. And uh, hope you like it. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up down at the bottom. Subscribe to my channel. And...
Don't forget to buy ProSociate. It's uh, actually it's on sale right now till July 1st, and you'll uh, get a good deal for that. Anyway, thanks for watching.